This is a parallel motion device. It's being used to tell a story of how much Iggy the Iguana loves going to the science museum. When the device is shifted from side to side, it looks like Iggy is moving towards the museum. Let's figure out the parts of these devices and why they work. These cardboard strips are placed horizontally and are parallel to each other. The craft sticks that are attached to them give you a handle to apply a push and pull force. The other two cardboard strips are placed vertically and are also parallel to each other. Our moving story characters are attached to these strips. These brass fasteners are being used as floating pivots. And here they are from the back. They are what the cardboard levers rotate or pivot around. When you apply push and pull forces on the horizontal levers, they transfer force to the vertical levers and our scene comes to life. You are able to create your own parallel motion device by using these materials. You cut your cardboard into strips to create the levers. Use brass fasteners to act as floating pivots. Let's start by connecting two of the levers together. After lining up your cardboard strips, use your push pin to make a hole in both of them. Then, use your wooden skewer to make the holes wider. Finally, use a brass fastener to connect the two strips. Put the legs of the fastener through both holes, then bend them in opposite directions, flat against the strip. Make sure to test if your connection is loose enough to allow the strips to rotate. Did you notice that when only two strips are connected, you can move them much more than when all four are connected? You can connect your cardboard strips into a parallelogram like I did in my examples. Or you can experiment by connecting them in different places. Or by using a different number of strips. See what kinds of motions you can create. Story devices. Here are two parallel motion devices that are being used to show scenes from two different stories. This device shows a scene from how Guingua Age got his name. When the shooting star shifts back and forth, you can see him crash into the earth. This device shows a scene from the frog, the snake, and the cure for poison ivy. When the snake shifts back and forth, it tries to catch the little frog. Now it's time for you to get creative. Decide what story you'd like to work with, then draw a picture or choose artwork made by our artist, Chelsea Smith. The drawings in the student guide will help you create your storytelling machine. Remember, you are engineering it. Be ready to figure out what is and isn't working and how to fix it. Be patient, observe, ask a friend, and think.